welcome to our black plastic bag video blog with no name. I'm Aaron Lightco, and this is Jason Cherkis. And we're going to talk about um, the show that happened last night in Mount Pleasant at a venue called La Casa. And there were three bands. It was Food for Animals, who have been on our blog a whole bunch, and a band called Me and Me, feature people who used to be in the DC band Black Eyes, and a band called Wealth. For some of the people that haven't been to La Casa, what's it like to be to to see a show there? Um, it's kind of like having a show in a church lobby or something. It's um, you know, it's just a like a kind of a classroom vibe. I don't know. Food for Animals brought a huge PA with them, so it was really it sounded really good. Um, but it was you know, low key, nice, friendly. Um, but Jason. You would have been to a lot of house shows and alternative space shows because you've lived here for a very long time and several generations of the DC music scene. You mean you could tell us something about that? Well, I do think that those are the, uh, those kinds of spaces are the best place to see a show, and um, I always felt that way. I've never seen my favorite show of all time is seeing. Um, this is kind of sad, I think, for a lot of reasons, but. Seeing um, Hoover and Circus Lupus at the Old Food for Thought, I mean, that was my favorite show I've ever, ever been to, or Bikini Kill in, in an attic in Chinatown in L.A. So those are the best places to see a show because everyone there is, to, is there to see it. But that's not to take away, in my opinion, that's not to take away the efforts of Hear Mount Pleasant, which is probably one of the more well-known um, activist groups in the Mount Pleasant community in that area who are fighting for, fighting to bring about, to bring... I'm sorry, we can edit this right, to bring uh, live music back to uh, Mount Pleasant Street in a more uh, organized and full, full way. And that means bringing it into uh, places that sell liquor. And I don't have a problem with that at all. I think that what they're doing is admirable, especially considering the history, the music history within Mount Pleasant. We're a city that seems to shun our music history. We bulldoze Marvin Gaye's home, we um, shun Go-Go into the suburbs, and we shun our punk past and our punk history um, over issues around parking and noise. This fear that Mount Pleasant's going to turn into Adams Morgan, which would never happen. 